Police need your help locating a missing teen. The last time anyone heard from 18 year old Ebby Stepek was October 25th. Her empty car was found days later. I probably spent 10 hours a day trying to locate her. Ebby Stepek gone without a trace. Do you believe your daughter is alive today? No. Until we find a body, until someone confirms that she's deceased, I'm going to remain hopeful that we will find her and bring her home. A couple days before Ebby was reported missing, she went to a party. Ebby texted me that she needed to speak to me about something important. She doesn't show up to meet you. I sent her a text message to let her know that I was on my way and she never responded. Then her brother Trevor calls her. She doesn't answer, but she calls him right back, correct? That is correct. Trevor asked her where she was. She knew she was with her car. At that point, Trevor told me that Abby sounded really messed up, disoriented. He never heard her sound like that before. He says she sounds disoriented and claims wow. she's lost. It's about a four minute conversation of where he's trying to determine where she is and what's going on. That was the last phone call with her. Yes. Five days after Abby disappeared, her car was found in a park approximately three miles from our house. All of her things were in the car. Her purse, her makeup was thrown around the car. She was a makeup artist. She would have never left her makeup. I knew instantly someone had taken her. Our daughters, she's gone. Well, it's been over a year since we spoke with Ebby's mother, Lori. Now, sadly, her worst fears were realized earlier this year. Breaking just into the THV 11 newsroom, Little Rock police confirm the remains found in Chalamont Park yesterday are those of Ebby Stepik. Police had said that the remains were skeletal and that the pipe opens near where Stepik's car was found. She's been there all this time. We might have known what happened to her. This makes me sick. I'll say a prayer. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. So good to see you again. <laughs> well, joining us now is uh, Ebby's mother, Lori. And Lori, I just uh, can't even find the words uh, to tell you how sorry I am for your loss. You know, you and I have been through this and just have been heartbroken at the outcome here. I'm just so very, very sorry for that. Thank you. Um, now, you say that she was, um, she was found very near her car, yes. right? Where her car was, where her car was found? Um, about 60 feet. Wow. And was the thinking that she had been there all along? Yes. Um, she was killed and put in a drainage pipe 60 feet from her car. It had been how long between when she went missing and when she was found exactly? Almost three years. Right. And so uh, she was identified how? Through her jewelry. My husband called and said, let's go to lunch. And I knew. In 15 years, he's never asked me to go to lunch. <laughs> and so I was at work and I just knew. And he came in and said they found skele skeleton, but there's still a little something in the back of your head that missing, you're, you're looking, you know, people are looking. Mm -hmm. But that day when they come and say they found her, that's a whole different right. state of mind. Okay.